What's going on everyone, Sick from Breaking the Clutch, and today I'm going to go ahead and continue the 1v1 series that I started last Saturday, I believe it was. Since you guys gave such great feedback on that video, I figure that it's safe to assume that we continue with this series, at least for the immediate future. So, the new update has just dropped today on 320, and it consists of a new ranking system. And this ranking system is very similar to Halo 5's, it might be an exact replica of it, or it might be an altered one, uh, still yet to be decided on that, but regardless of how it is, I'm going to show you guys my first placement match, which uh, is this gameplay right here, and then after that, I'm not going to show any more placement matches, and at least ones, I'm going to only show the, the, uh, the rank that I get placed at in those games after that, which would lead to more, to a, a more competitive gameplay. Um, at least more consistent, so I'll be playing against players who are uh, of my skill or um, of their skill. So, uh, just for reference, you will be seeing just one placement match, and then after that, I'm going to go ahead and keep posting every few days or so an update on the progress of the meta of 1v1s, and, and hopefully, again, we spark some dialogue in the comments section that helps improve all of our 1v1 gameplays. And hopefully, again, that translates over to twos and threes. So in this particular one, I am going Jackrabbits again. Nothing has really changed on that front with uh, with Jackrabbits, I think, being the meta of the game. As you see in this gameplay in just a few moments, the player that I am versing is going to go Marines, and he's actually going to go Flamethrowers as well. Now, it's a bit of an interesting play and a bit of a gamble because I see where he wanted to go with this strategy, which is... He assumes that I'm Forge, I'm going to go Marines. It's not the case in this one in particular, and I'm sure it's worked for him in the past because it's a bit of a it's a bit of a startling rush, and if you're not prepared for uh, the enemy player's rush and you're going Marines, then that's, I mean, he's got you beat on that. So he's taking a bit of a gamble here, and it doesn't end up paying off in this one, but I'm sure it's paid off for him uh, at least in other gameplays. So he's going to take a gamble. He assumes I'm going Marines, and he's going to go Flamethrowers. Again, this is not the case going Jackrabbit, so this game is going to fall apart pretty quickly for him. Now, where could he have improved his gameplay before I talk about where I can improve my gameplay? All he had to do was send one scout over. If he sent his scout over and he saw that I was going Jackrabbits, then he could have taken that barracks that was building flamethrowers, and he could have easily translated that to Cyclops, right? So you'll see, again, right here, about two, two minutes and 40 seconds, 50 seconds in the game, I get a glimpse of what he's going. He's got three Marines, so... That in immediately tells me he's going Marines of some sort. Don't know how many, but he's at least going a, a few Marines. So I've got an idea of what he's doing. And right there as well, you see how many units he has. And it's because Marines don't cost any power. I don't know if flamethrowers do, but uh, Marines don't. So he's able to pump out a lot of units very quickly. There's no reason to fret about this. Just simply relax. Think of how you can how you can rebound from this very quickly. I know my Jackrabbits will be able to beat his Marines and Flamethrowers, but I just have to bring them together, right? And as you'll see, I'm going to start building some turrets on my bases to, or on my base, I should say, to help defend the attack. I have options. He does not in this case. Not Well, he has pretty much two options in this case. He has to either push my base, which he does, or he has to pull back to his base. Now, he overcommits, he sends all of his units, and I talked about this last video where there's an issue with sending, like, overcommitting with counter units. Jackrabbits aren't a counter unit, I don't believe, to Marines. Even though they're effective against them, they're not a straight up counter to them. What he's doing with the flamethrowers, that's a counter unit. Marines, I don't think they're really a counter unit to anything. They are effective against certain units, but I wouldn't call them a counter. So, as you see right here, he overcommits with the flamethrowers, and all he had to do was simply scout my base and figure out that I was going Jackrabbits. And again, he could have swapped to Cyclops. And if he would have pushed with Cyclops and Marines, my rush is dead. I, I don't think I have any chance. I, maybe I can send one unit all the way out to the far side of the map towards his base and pick that one up. Since he's got Marines, it'll take him a little longer to get over there. And maybe I can build up something from there. But again, it's not likely. So a simple scout on his side and he would have taken this victory. Well, a scout and an adjustment. Now where can I improve my gameplay? As you saw, I scouted around the 2 minute and 50 second mark, something along those lines. I need to send that unit out quicker to figure out what he's doing. Now I do struggle with sending out units 
in particular with jackrabbits, I struggle sending them out because I upgrade, I upgrade uh, the the launcher on these jackrabbits immediately. So it kind of gives away the strategy that I'm using against my opponent. Of course, I could use it as a misdirection, but that's a bit more complicated than a simple jackrabbit rush. That would be, I, I it's more again misdirection, and then it would lead him to believe that I'm going uh, jackrabbits, and then maybe I swap to air based on what he's doing, it's it's a bit more strategic, and I don't think I'm at that level yet. And I saw a few people in the comments who who have talked about that s the similar strategies of that sort, where you, you lead them to believe that you're going a certain unit, and I don't think I'm there yet. I just want to keep improving uh, my gameplays little at a time. I think that's a bit of a jump, and perhaps we'll get there towards the end of my placement, ra uh, placement matches, sorry. But again, I hope you guys do enjoy. If you see anything that I didn't see and you want to comment on it, how to improve my gameplay, how to improve my enemy's gameplay, uh, all of that helps us, everyone. Improving his gameplay uh, relates to anyone who uses some similar strategies of his and improving, helping improve my gameplay. I'm sure there are plenty of people who still do the Jackrabbit Rush and this would help their gameplay as well. So critique, 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 and let's keep an open dialogue in the comments. And until next time, guys, this has been Nick from Breaking the Clutch, and I hope you guys have a great day.